my girlfriend from school was Miss Polonia one year, I can't remember, it was 75 or 76. She wasn't a bad sort, but <laughs> it, uh, I don't know, she got it because of that. God, I remember getting dressed up in high-waisted flares and platform shoes. How long ago it was, I can remember the colour of them. I'd love all shows still had them, it'd be great to put on again. I played for uh, in Poland for Polonia and retired at 33. The Federal Polish Federation rang me. They wouldn't be interested of two years to Australia. But I said, oh gee, I re I'm retired now and uh, I got a good job, you know, you know what? But then I decided, yes, I will do it, you know. You have a look around and there's photos and trophies and pennants from decades ago. I always kind of wanted to play for, it, for the Polish club and that was really important to me. It's kind of like my connection to the whole Polish community. The club was 99% Luke Klimex. All the kids that I'd played with lived like within a five minute walk of the ground. It was a Polish community there. John Kuzmina's father was a team manager his kids, John, played, and then uh, two brothers as well, younger brothers. Probably not a week goes by that I don't think about those days. And I remember when the NSL started and I had to leave Polonia. And I sort of wanted to go because it was the next level up and it was a, it was a step of progress from a football career. But there was a part of me that it's never really been the same. It was unbelievable. The atmosphere was fantastic. And it was, it was passionate. The Tatra Dancer Group is very important. It was formed in 1958. I would say that Tatra is very, a very vital aspect of the Polish community in South Australia. I was actually lucky enough to meet my husband when we were five years old at Polish language school. But it was definitely not until we started dancing together at Tatra that we really hit it off. There was a lot of couples that met through the dancing group, married, uh, had children, their children attended, their children met their partners through this. It's been a constant sort of recycling, if you want to call it. We call it our local matchmaking service for the young Poles of South Australia. Guys that used to do Polish dancing, actually some of them had, I think dancing probably helped their footwork a bit. They ended up packing that in when they were relatively young and the ones that stayed on seemed better dancers than they were footballers. Until I got married for about 15, 16 years. Every Saturday, I was following Polonia. My earliest memories of coming here was the crowd was five, six rows deep, right back from the fence, and I had to sit on the old man's shoulders uh, to see the game. A lot of the Polish young guys that I knew had to go to Polish school on Saturday mornings, and they hated it, but they had to. I used to think I was lucky because mum was an Aussie and dad didn't care that I got out of it. Now I wish he'd have taught me the language. My father, I remember watching him drink like shots of vodka and then these little seven ounce glasses of beer called butchers and I wasn't sure which one he was drinking first but one of them was washing the other one down and they all smoked and it was like it was everything so <laughs> everything that's so against the rules today and then he'd drive us home so we spent a lot of time at the club so you know if we finished training at eight o'clock we probably wouldn't get home on a school night before ten at least it's difficult when the whole name change had to come in and all the sort of ethnicity was taken out um, because that's where all the passion was, that's where all the rivals, rivalries were um, and that's what I loved about it so much. I think all those traditional names are amazing, um, I think it creates that culture again, that, that spirit within each and individual community. Being born in Australia and being the only person in the family who was born in Australia, I really craved that connection to my parents' homeland. I wanted to ensure that Everything lives on. I want to continue the language, you know, the food, everything that's part of the Polish culture. I want to continue that in my next generation.